Welcome back to the regular podcast. It's anything but. We're back, and we got the final verdict for Jonathan Majors. This thing has been going on since March, and yeah, we got the final verdict. He's guilty, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're not here to talk about the legal situations. That's not our groove. We're here to talk about how this affects the movies and his career going forward. So with that being said, let's just talk about it, man. Uh, let's just start off with the MCU because I Our guess that's what like, everybody MCU you know, like, wants to talk about. For, yeah, not they're not now done for, but like their next like five years of plans, but their next five years of plans is like completely gone. That is geez. I like literally. like Ant Man, Quantum Mania is so dead right can't now. Can't do nothing. Loki season two can't do yeah. nothing with that. Like they have to, they have to back check and just flip so hard, like. Dang, it's crazy that they just fired him off rip like that. Like, it is, it is what yeah. it is. And like, it's even crazy, bro, because like he, bro, he wasn't even guilty because he like, hit her. It was unintentional, but it is what it is, man. Like, I, you know, it, this Marvel doesn't have time for this, bro. Like, Marvel really didn't like does not have time for like just this, but this bad like stain for them. Bro, like, Mar- this is Marvel's crazy. never going back to the way it was. It's just not happening. Bro, what I can literally mean, tell you, bro, like, I've seen, and I'm not going to say, like, this is my own opinion. I saw this on Twitter. Bro, 2023 might have been the worst year for the MCU, bro. No, 100%. They just they came got off the strike. Bro, they just came they, off the strike. Like, bro, there was nothing they could have done. Literally. There's literally nothing they could have done. The Jonathan Majors thing hit right as they were making him the big bad for the next phase. Then you have Ammon and the Wasp underperforming. I mean, the movie's... I don't know if that movie's okay, bro. I don't think I can say that movie's okay anymore. I'm pretty sure you guys have different opinions. The Marvels was great. I like the Marvels, uh, but it underperformed great. at the box office. About Secret- it was cool. I've not seen that film. Yeah, well, the Marvels, good. Let's just say good. I don't think good. it was great. I've not great. seen the finale of Loki. Good. I mean, it was decent. Bro? Nah, Loki. The Loki fin- Dude, Loki season Loki. two was great. Nah, Loki I'm, season I'm not two was amazing. That season two was actually incredible. Like, that was great, bro. If it wasn't for WandaVision, that would be my number one favorite MCU show. WandaVision peeps. I still I still think WandaVision. Bro, so I, I got no hype for Agatha. Yeah, but that's not what we're here to talk about, man. We're talking yeah. about Jonathan it Majors crazy, they really and so Kang much going forward. Faith into this Kang. Bro, main baddie. <laughs> let, listen, listen, listen here. Main baddie. Blade. Y'all think Blade? Y'all think Blade should be the main baddie? You think Blade should? Yeah. What'd you think? No, nah, honestly, they're probably they're probably gonna go back to multiverse stuff. I mean, it's not yeah. no, it's not even that hard to anyway. It's not, because it's look, really bro, we have Spider Man variant. It's not hard. Bro, the to easiest pivot, way just... to retcon their mistakes is to use the multiverse, bro, or just recast them. Like, I think that's the simplest solution, bro. You can just recast them. I feel I feel like this is one situation where they literally should recast, or else like they just have so much stuff that is essentially just wasted. Because literally, yeah. basically all of Loki revolves around Kang variants. All of Anime Quantumania set up was for there's going to be more dangerous Kang variants. They literally announced that the next Avengers film was supposed to be called Kang Dynasty. And yeah, bro. That, bro, I, I was more I think, excited for that movie than I was for Secret Wars. I think Marvel's just too stubborn to recast. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like this yeah, this like, Earth, like... I think after a couple appearances, they're not gonna like recast or nothing. If it was just one appearance, if he appeared once in Loki, it was easy for him to recast because you know they killed that variant. Boom, maybe another variant has a different face. But I think they can still do that. But it's just kind of hard when they had the Ammon and the Wasp like uh, final the post credit scene, and all of the Kangs were Jonathan Majors, bro. I mean, with the ending of Loki season two, they can just you know easily just move forward without Kang, or you know they can go the route with Kang. Like that's how the that's the way that Loki season two ended. I know, Davis. I know you haven't seen the finale for Loki season two, but like we'll that's that. how it works. It. Yeah, like that's that's how it will work. Like JP, you can you can understand. Like, yes, it's just you like, understand like, like how that finale. This is like if Marvel built like all the way up to Infinity War, and then Josh Brolin got fired. So it's like, say you got Infinity War coming out next year. I don't know about Infinity year. War Ooh. coming out next nah, nah, year. Nah, nah. I wouldn't say and then you got to think War. how much you have to pivot. Like, saying, do you recast and stick with Thanos, or do you skip past all this build up straight into the next storyline? Either option is going to suck. You just have to pick which one yeah. sucks less. 
It's a shame because Jonathan yeah. Bates, his, his performance is was literally a highlight of Loki for me. Literally. Bro, he, bro, him as he who remains in Loki season one, that conversation, oh my God, captivating. I, I don't care if that finale for Loki season one, just him sitting there talking had me hooked. I remember back when we, when we talked about Loki season one, the finale two years ago, bro, it had me hooked. And then even with the conversation at the end of Loki season two, still, it hooked me, bro. His whole, his whole performance as Kang hooked me. But I, I kind of don't want to like focus just on his MCU, you know, performances. If you guys want to talk more about that amongst yourself, you can. But me personally, I want to kind of, kind of pivot towards like his other roles that he that he may have had coming, or his what what will happen to his career. Let's talk about that. But if you guys want to keep talking about MCU, let's keep doing it. Yeah, this is the whole situation. But I mean, for even for his other projects, let, let's let's be completely honest. His other projects, like. In comparison to Marvel, they, they really don't mean that. Other much. For good, like Jonathan Majors is one of the best actors that's been like upcoming in these past few years. I haven't seen him in a bad project. So this is just all bad hands around. Even because he wasn't even convicted guilty of what he was accused of being. And he still got he got dropped by Marvel. So I don't know if that's gonna result in him getting fired by the other stuff. But him just being like straight immediately sure. like he being immediately let go by Marvel is just it's just it's just unfortunate all around. Hundred percent. I mean, but you have to understand the position Marvel's in. It, yeah, they're they're really in a bad place because like it's it's like a split, like it's like a split between like, bro, if they go if they fire him, half of the people, including myself. Are like, bro, what, yo, dog, dog, like, why, why fire him? Like, he was a great, like, he, he, he worked good as Kang. I get it. He has some legal mm -hmm. troubles right here, but he, he was innocent on the other two charges of, like that, that labels him as an abuser. He was guilty on the charge of reckless, but he, it wasn't intentional. So it's like, of course they were gonna charge him guilty with that, but like he's innocent on some other things that, you know, labels him as an abuser. So I'm like, bro, you can move forward with Kang if you wanted to, but also there's a certain people that are like, oh, you're moving forward with an abuser. And then if you, yeah. like I said, if you keep him, you're moving forward with an abuser. So it's just still, man, it's like, mm -hmm. it's free my man Kang, bro. The, you can look at the DC free, free my man Kang. with the whole Ezra Miller controversy, who literally terrorized the island of Hawaii for how many weeks and was still yeah. left to finish filming. We're not like, talking about that, though. It's Look, just, and I just, like the Flash, but we're not talking about how, how he got invited was. to the premiere, bro. It's just, it's just a shame all around. So Marvel, like Marvel, bro, is probably this Amber Heard, yeah, he, well, even Amber Heard. Marvel's Are we Amber forgetting Heard's Amber Heard? Marvel, bro, is she in, still? Like, is she's in position. Aquaman too, right? Yeah, she's still yes. in there. Wait, I heard. That, Granted, uh, her role has been edited down, I, I but heard she's still that, in like, it. I heard that like he like would not. Um, interact with her at all say right? something more yeah i wouldn't either bro literally she it came bro it came out that she was the abuser all along so it's kind of a shame that e even with amber heard and ezra miller they were kept on with their projects even long after their controversies ended but with jonathan majors as soon as the verdict is out he's immediately dropped so it's just kind of a shame and marvel is literally going to be in one of their worst positions ever no matter what decision they go for but also, next. the thing is is that marvel has a way broader audience than dc ever did especially I kinda agree. Like now and i'm sure there's a lot more women that watch marvel projects than dc projects they're, they're kind of looking at their um what were they called the, the, the statistics here yeah you know, I, I more kinda... women are consuming your media and you have a accused woman beater like yeah as one of your main roles is you know it puts marvel in a very difficult position but if you're a man but if you're a man beater don't even matter <laughs> bro literally uh ezra miller had like a video of him talking out a woman we we have that video we have that clip you can you guys can roll the clip we have that clip here but yeah i agree with you i agree with you davis it's just because we have a more broader audience with marvel kane the conqueror he's already been on screen multiple times 
Jonathan Major is a huge name right now. His career was at the top. Not gonna lie, this is one of the worst fall offs ever in history. I hope he can bounce back from this yeah, for man, his career's nah, he sake. He fell off, bro. He fell off. They, you think he fell off? I'm not gonna lie. I think no. he can bounce back. Jonathan Major is an nah, amazing actor. That man is done. It just depends. Nah, he's it done, bro. On who's one I hope Michael B. Jordan still wants to work with him because Michael B. Jordan has been sticking with him. But I don't know if he will at this point. But I hope so because he really, he 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 does deserve to be a good actor. Because what he got, like I said, what he got guilty was was just the uh, he hurt her on accident. I think, mm. but it was unintentional. Like said, yeah, As he was, was trying to flee the scene, he actually hurt her. Body. So it's just it's just really is a shame. Maybe there's more evidence that we don't know about, which will come out in the future. But as of what we know right now, it's just. I don't know. I, I think they did. I think we can all say they made a mistake with letting him go. Yeah, they made a mistake for for the fans, but I mean, you know, for for the company's sake, I guess it was the right choice. It was the right decision for them to do. It, they made a decision that was right for them. This is too much blackness on their screen. But do you guys have any closing thoughts on this whole Jonathan Majors thing? Uh, I wish Marvel luck with whatever they're doing. I don't want Marvel. I wish Jonathan Majors. Whatever they decide What's his to do. Because um, I mean, the thing is that I don't know, I'm not too attached to Kang. Maybe that's because I've seen him Loki all movies. the way. I've seen him in many mm -hmm. movies. But I mean, I saw him in Creed Three, and he's I really enjoyed him. But I don't think it really matters if he ever comes back to Creed. I just hope. I just hope he still has a career in Hollywood because he really does deserve one. He is a fantastic yeah. actor. Bro, he oh my god, bro. He was finna skyrocket. He went from Ant Man to Creed, and then he had another one called Magazine Dreams later this year. His bro, he was really last good year too. he had the huh? I liked his movie Devotion. That's what I was finna say. Last year he had Devotion too. This man went from Loki, he went from Love Care Country to Loki to Devotion to Ant Man. Like, bro, he was getting rolls on top of rolls. He was the next big thing in Hollywood. But that will end it for our discussion about Jonathan Majors and his legal troubles. He's been found guilty and he's been let go by Marvel Studios. It's a sad day for the fans and possibly and actually the worst year of Marvel. 2023 has been the worst year for the MCU by far. Uh, with that being said, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below. What did you think of the whole debacle, the whole situation? Do you think he's guilty? Do you think he's innocent? Comment that down below in the comment section. And uh, join in on the discussion on what you think they should do with the Kang character. Should they recast or should they just move forward into Doctor Doom? We are the regular podcast. Like, comment, and subscribe. And then we will see you all next time. Peace.